Hello everyone! Thank you for having me. My name is Sertno Palupi and I'm going to be speaking to you today about diet. Everyone, have you ever been on diet? I know all of you must be on diet. Yes. Diet is not always about weight loss. So everyone, are you curious about diet? Let's talk about diet and why is diet important for our health. So, if you all think diet is only about weight loss, you are absolutely wrong. Doing a diet is the same as maintaining your health. Why? What is the relationship between diet and health? Diet is about how you set, how do you eat, what do you eat, and when do you eat. If you choose to eat a lot of junk food, then you have high fat diet otherwise if you set your daily meal into a portion of healthy food then you can have a healthy diet yes that is very important for our health to keep our organs work well so once again what is diet why is diet important according to the world health organization a diet is about how you want to build your body. Is it built from fat or muscle? A health diet is essential for good health and nutrition. Consuming a health diet helps to prevent malnutrition in all its forms. If you have any health problems, the first step to fix is to have a healthy diet. For example, if someone is diagnosed um, for obesity, they can do a low-fat diet for weight loss. If someone is diagnosed for underweight, they can do a high-protein diet for weight gain. Not only for weight, if someone has problems in their kidney, they have to do a low-cholesterol diet. For daily case, if someone has acne prone skin, a low fat diet can help our skin to make the skin better. Also, we can maintain our health and prevent ill by doing a proper diet. Everyone has to do a proper diet. We can just eat everything we want, even if we want sick at the time we eat it. The food may not be good for our health in the long term to do a proper diet. We have to do a balanced diet. A balanced diet is important because our organs need the right nutrition to work effectively. The body uses calories from food for activities such as walking, thinking, breathing and other important functions without good nutrition the body is more susceptible to disease such as infections fatigue and poor performance children and teenagers with poor diet run the risk of growth development problems poor academic performance and poor diets can persist for the rest of their lives Many people go on extreme diets for instant weight loss. Although if they do that, their weight will drop for a while and then will increase again even higher than before. Excessive diets such as not eating at all and avoiding fiber can also lead to malnutrition which can lead to many diseases such as diarrhea, depression, skin problems, and heart attack. It is not uncommon for people who go on diet to end up dying from overexerting themselves. To do a balanced diet, firstly, we have to know our basal metabolic rate. Basal metabolic rate, or BMR, is the quantity of the needed calories for the organs to do daily activities. For example, my BMR is 1,373 calories per day. It 
means to maintain my weight in 34 kilograms, I need to consume 1373 calories per day. To do with loss diet in healthy way, we can cut our PMR up to 200 calories per day. So if I so if I I want to lose weight, I need consume around 1173 up to 1372 calories each day. After knowing our BMR, we have to know about meal composition. We need a lot of protein to either lose weight loss or weight gain, or maybe to maintain our weight. We need a few amount of fat, but too much fat will have a bad impact on our health. We need carbohydrates, but not too much. A meal with good composition is meal with a complex nutrition consisting of at least carbohydrate, protein, and fiber. A good diet won't be good if we don't do exercise. To make our body and organs stronger, we have to exercise at least once a week. To loosen our weight, cardio is a nice exercise because Cardio burns a lot of calories. To gain weight, weightlifting is a good exercise because it builds muscle and put more weight in our body. To maintain our weight, we have to do both cardio and weightlifting. We don't need hard um, like weightlifting training. We can do weightlifting with our body, for example, push up and pull up. What about Hulk? What is relationship between diet and heart? Differing to heart law number 23 of 19 and 92, heart is a state of well-being of body, soul, and society that enables a person to live socially and economically. The concept of healthy, the word health organization formulates in very broad scope namely a perfect state both physically, mentally, and socially, not only free from disease or weakness or disability. In this definition, health is not just free from disease or disability. People who are not diseased are not necessarily healthy. We must be in perfect state, be it physically and mentally. A good diet will lead us into a healthy life. Physically, diet will help us to prevent disease caused by food. Mentally, based on the research, diet can help us to feel happy, especially when we do exercise. Exercising will help the brain to release serotonin to make us feel happier. Diet is not always about weight, but also about health. Selectively choosing our food is also a good way to start a balanced diet. Eating less junk food and more natural food will help our body to detoxify, clean our body, and help our organs work better. Doing a balanced diet could make our body work better than ever. It could help improve our mental health, control your weight, reverse diseases and infections, and make your face more radiant and clean. The results are long but won't disappoint in the long run. Sadly, once again, many people have mistaken that diet is only about weight loss. They starve themselves. They eat once a week. They do exercise as a punishment. That kind of diet won't make us healthy, otherwise it will have a bad impact on our body. It will burden our metabolism system. Metabolism is the chemical reaction in the body cell that change food into energy. If we do the wrong diet, our metabolism system won't work as it should. If we broke our metabolism system, it would completely impact our health. Our metabolism system may change food into so much energy 
that can make us gain so much weight even if we eat only a little it can also make us never gain weight even if we eat plainly of food so we can conclude that a balanced diet will lead us into a healthy life otherwise the wrong diet may lead us into an unhealthy life once again diet is not always about weight loss we can maintain our health while maintaining our health diet is not always about food we have to think about calories exercise and many more it seems complicated but it actually is however it is always easier to say than to do i know it's so hard to start a diet so do i and we always want to have delicious food with so less nutrition that will always start tomorrow it's what people always think but it's totally wrong wrong to start a diet is always from our will so guys to motivate you to start diet i'll give you a dare let's eat less fatty food starting from today if you can do it i'll give you i'll give you a compliment do you guys remember what i said earlier healthy life begins with a healthy diet set your meal into a good composition start exercise and calculate your calories Start diet from today because diet is very important for our health to keep our organs work well. So guys, it's all from me. Wow, that's so long. Yet persuasive, right? Okay, see you next time and hope you can start diet from today. See you guys. Bye.